What's up guys, Ricky again, here with video two of my little uh, HTPC build series. Um, this video, I think I'm just going to uh, test my core components that I showed you. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the, uh, the motherboard to the power supply, install my RAM and put my, uh, my APU in because I just ordered the case actually. Uh, I decided on a, uh, a Fractal Design Core 1000 because it's on Newegg, it's on sale right now and with rebate it's, I think it only comes out to about 20 bucks so can't beat that, it's got USB 3 and everything so yeah, decided to go for that because again it's a budget build and everything so I decided to go that route so yeah so I mean I'll probably end up speeding through all this uh, but I'll go ahead and put this all together and then we'll uh, test it out. Alright guys, sorry about that. I actually uh, made a up uh, made a boo boo and I didn't put the uh, the RAM sticks in correctly. I I, just, I consulted the uh, the little the owner's manual here. Uh, Notice that if you uh, are using any kind of overclocked RAM, I guess they uh, state from 1600 megahertz up to 2600 megahertz because that's what this board supports. They recommend you use the FAR2 um, 
RAM, RAM slots, not they're close to like I had it installed. So just goes to show you sometimes the product manual is a good thing to use. So anyway, here we go. We'll give it a test and now we'll see what happens. Switch the power on. And I will trip the power here. That's a good sign. The fans are spinning. All right. And I'll grab the camera. Oh, there we go. That's what we want to see. A nice little uh, Ace Rock uh, UEFI uh, BIOS here. Pretty cool looking. Uh, you can see it shows my motherboard here, the uh, UEFI version. Uh, AMD A6 400K right there. Uh, 3.6. And it looks like my RAM is only coming in at 1600 right now. But I'm sure when I go in the BIOS, I can tweak that back up to 1866 like it's supposed to be. I'm sure it's just uh, setting it there for now. But, yeah, looks like everything's running correctly. Fan spinning, just like it should be. Ram's in. And the power supply looks to be running correctly. It's actually not that loud. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, this fan's actually not that loud either. Everybody was saying that these... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's not full speed right now, but a lot of people were saying these, um, the, the FM2, uh, the chip fans, they were really, really loud, but this doesn't seem that loud for me. I'm sure once it's inside the, uh, the, uh, the Fractal Design Core 1000 that I'm getting, I'm sure it'll be a lot quieter anyway, so, yeah. Through HDMI, it looks like we're booting fine and everything. I didn't hook up my keyboard or anything, so I'm not gonna... I'm not going to go through the BIOS yet. I'll do that later in the next video. But yeah, looks like everything works correctly. I like it. There's another look at the board here for you guys. Everything in it. Pretty cool. Everything's working, working correctly. All right. All right, so that'll be the end of this episode. And I will uh, update you guys when I get the case. And I will do an unboxing of the case. And I also got a... Uh, a LAN connector so I can wirelessly connect to my uh, my network here at my house. So I will do an unboxing of those two things for you guys next and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.